Hi everyone. Thanks for joining me to make a cat favorite foil stew. I'm gonna move through the instructions fairly quickly, so feel free to pause at any point. Before we get started, let's go over the ingredients and supplies that you will need. Um, your main ingredients are ground beef, about a quarter pound per person, potatoes, about half to one whole potato per person, depending on the size. Um, carrots, either half of a regular carrot or three to five baby carrots. Or if you're like me and want some extra, I think I have about seven of them there. Um, and then an onion is optional. I don't like onions. So as you can see in my picture, I didn't add an onion. Then you'll need some barbecue sauce, some butter and some milk, and of course the aluminum foil. Um, a few other supplies you may need, um, your knife and cutting board to cut your vegetables, and then tongs and pot holders. Before we get started putting it all together, you'll want to either build your fire if you're planning to cook it over a fire or preheat your oven to 350. Once you have that going, you're gonna to wanna to cut your vegetables um, into small pieces, about a marble size. The smaller they are, the quicker they'll cook. So here I have my potatoes and carrots, but you'll also want to include your onion. Once you have your vegetables cooked, you're gonna to wanna to create your foil pack. So to do that, you take your piece of foil about two and a half feet in length, and you wanna fold it in half once, and then you're gonna fold it in half again just to have that reinforced foil pack. Once you have it folded in your quarters, you are going to roll in your sides or fold it in your sides. Um, roll it about two to three times and you'll see here I like to fold my corners in just to give it an extra seal so nothing leaks. Once your foil pack is sealed on all three sides, you want to begin adding your ingredients. Um, start with your vegetables and your hamburger meat. Um, you're going to want to make sure to break up your hamburger so that it cooks completely. And then you're going to add your butter and or your milk. Um, a spoonful of butter is plenty, a splash of milk is plenty. And then add as much or as little barbecue sauce as you want. You do want to make sure that you have at least one of the three butter, milk, or barbecue as that'll give it juice and help it cook and make sure it doesn't burn to the side of your foil. Once you've added all of your ingredients, you're gonna roll the top to close it. Again, about two or three rolls. I like to fold in my corners. You wanna make sure that it's securely rolled, no leaks, make sure it's airtight. And you wanna make sure that there is some air in the pack and it's loosely, loosely packed in there. Make sure you can give it a good shake. If it's too tight, it won't cook properly. Then you're either going to place it on your coals for about 20 to 30 minutes, make sure it's on coals and not directly on a flame or else it may burn or in your oven at 350 for about 35 to 45 minutes. At the end of the cooking, you will want to pull it out and just open the top of it. Um, grab a fork, poke your potatoes, poke your meat, make sure everything is cooked thoroughly. Um, if it is cooked to your liking, then you can grab a plate or a bowl and enjoy.